Hello there! Welcome to another lesson. Today, the topic that we are going to discuss about it is how can I ask for permission in English? So, I'm gonna help you using the correct language to asking for permission. So, I hope you are studying at your moment. Okay, this is your moment to study, this is your time. So, please put aside cell phone, social media, that is not a good time. How are you? I hope you're doing very, very good. So, let's go start, jump right now in the lesson today. As I told you, we are going talking about asking for permission. How can I ask for permission in English? How can I refuse a permission? And how can I approve a permission? Let's go jump in there. Let me just uh, put everything settled. Settle down here, my pencil, and let me increase this one. We are going to start with this, okay? In this part here. As you know, you have all the material in PDF for downloaded whatever you want and print if you, you think it's a good idea, okay? So, I can have basically two different ways to asking for permission. Let me see, I think I am in front of your sentence. So, we have basically two different ways to asking for permission. We have a formal way and we have the informal way. So, let's take a look how can I formally asking for permission in English. For example, this, this is an interesting question question because a lot of students they ask me what's the difference about can and may first thing to remember both of them are like modal verbs okay so basically I am going to use the, these two guys for possibilities for permission in that case we are going to use to asking for permission so, basically, we are going to use may in formal situations and can for informal situations. Uh, let me give you one example. Let's pretend we are in a face-to-face -face class and then you late to the class, okay? So, the class started at 9 a.m. and then you show up at a class at 9.30. So, you mean you late and then you ta, 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 knock the door talk 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 knock the door and then you say teacher Laurie can I come in can I come in because you are my regular student okay you already know me we have like kind of intimacy we close to each other but if on the other side you are uh, attending to a meeting for example at work and this is a very formal environment it's better to use may than can okay of course it depends on, on um, the kind of uh, job you have if for example you work at Google probably you can say can right because people are very cool working there but the basic idea here is that you are going to say may in formal situations and can for informal. So this is the basic idea, okay? So may I use your bathroom? So for example, if you are at your sister's house or at your closest friend's house, you can use, uh, instead of say may, you can say can because you're close to the person. Can I use your bathroom? May I use your bathroom? Okay? So, this is one way to ask for permission. We have another one that is pretty much formal, is to use do you mind? Do you mind sounds like in Portuguese, você se incomoda? Sounds like this, okay? So, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Okay? So, uh, of course, we can change this. We can say, do you mind if I take this? Do you mind if I drink this beer? Okay? And could. 
Could is another one that is pretty much formal. And that idea that we have using could is poderia. Like, could I use your bathroom? Eu poderia utilizar o seu banheiro? That is the idea, okay? Could I use your bathroom? May I use your bathroom? It's uh, very formal. Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Okay? Let's check it out. How can I do that in informal situations? For example, I can use it's okay. It's okay. It's very interesting when comes to, uh, when comes to talk about informalities. So I can say, is that okay if I use your bathroom? Is that okay if I use your bathroom? Okay? Don't forget, we have the TH sound here. Remember our pronunciation class? So you need to th bathroom, bathroom, okay? É tipo dar uma sopradinha. Bathroom, bathroom. And then we have can and I. And also remember our pronunciation lesson when I say, when you have one word that finish with a consonant, And the other one is started with a vowel. We normally, boom, connect those sounds. So, instead of saying, can I use your bathroom? You can say, can I, can I, can I use, can I use, can I use your bathroom? Okay? So, basically, a review, a brief review here to talking, asking for permissions. Uh, we can have two different types, Form formal way and informal way. For, nor for formal way, we can use may, do you mind, or could. For informal way, is it okay and can. Is that okay, right? Okay, so let's understand what, what do I have to do if I want to say, yes, you can. Let's check it out. So, approval. Let's take a weak fraco. Weak approval means necessarily that I'm tá, tá ok, tá de boa, pode. Fraco, ok? Weak approval. Let's see. Fine. Fine. Go ahead. Fine. Go ahead. Claro, vai lá. Vai frente. I guess. I guess sounds like eu acho. Weak, right? I guess. If you must, se você quiser, if you must, um, it's fine by me, but ask, for example, this is very interesting. Let's pretend you have a kid. Or, in fact, you can have a kid, right? And then your kid said, Mom, Dad, can I sleep over? Sleep over means dormir fora, dormir na casa de um colega, por exemplo. Can you see that if it's a chi your child, they use can instead of may, okay, because it's your child. And then you can say, it's fine by me, but ask your mother. It's fine by me, but ask your father. Tá tudo bem por mim, mas pergunte ao seu pai ou pergunte à sua mãe. In that situation, for example. What about strong approval? We can have any time, of course. Can I do this? Of course, any time. Anytime, sempre, qualquer hora. Absolutely. Can I do this? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Of course, of course. Be my guest, be my guest. Like, fique à vontade. Or, you don't have to ask. Lorena, can I use your bathroom? Can I use your bathroom? Or can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you don't have to ask. You don't have to ask. You might pee. Você vai fazer xixi aí? So, you don't have to ask. Você não precisa perguntar. And then we can have refusal. Okay? You say to the person, mm, not a chance. Not a chance. Not at all. Not at all can be another one. Not at all. Oh, it's not a good idea. I wish you could, but... Uh, mom, can I sleep over? I wish you could, but your father don't, doesn't. Your father doesn't like it, that idea. I gostaria que você... Gostaria até de deixar, mas seu pai não gosta dessa ideia. For example, okay? I'm afraid I can allow. 
I'm afraid I can't allow. I can't allow. I'm afraid I can't allow. Eu receio que eu não posso demitir. I'm sorry, but that is impossible. I'm sorry, but that is impossible. Can I sleep over? Sorry, kid, but that is impossible. Uh, they normally say kid. Bem formalmente, eles dizem kiddo. Kiddo. No, kiddo. É um jeitinho carinhoso, por exemplo. I'm sorry, kiddo, but you can't. I, 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 it's impossible. Okay? Or, no, please don't. I don't know. For example, uh, would you mind, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Oh, no, please don't. I have a big problem in the toilet, so don't use it, this. You can, you can use another one, for example. Então, tem um problema no banheiro e a pessoa deu uma despistadazinha. So, guys, as you can notice, I've been using more English for the last classes, last lessons, right? I've been doing this a lot and we will continue improving your English. Listen to myself and study. So, as you know, we have all this mind map available for downloaded and print if you decided that it's better for you. Ok? Bom. Bom, <risos> é o português e inglês surando, que maravilha! Vejo vocês na próxima aula. Tchau, tchau!